this video, I am going to show you on how to solve a Newton's law of cooling. So we have here a example. At 2 p.m., a thermometer reading 80 degree Fahrenheit is taken outside where the air temperature is 20 degree Fahrenheit. At 2:03 p.m., the temperature reading yielded by or the temperature reading yielded by the thermometer is 42 degree Fahrenheit. Later, the thermometer was brought inside where the air is 80 degree Fahrenheit. At 2.10 p.m., the reading is 71 degree Fahrenheit. So the question here is, when was the temperature was brought indoors? So as you can see, we have two environments in our problem. So we have the first environment outside where the temperature is 20 degree Fahrenheit. And also we have a second environment inside where the air temperature is 80 degree Fahrenheit. So next is we're going to write the given. So at 2 p.m. the thermometer is 80 degree Fahrenheit or in our first environment the you can write this as T T S1 which is 20 degree Fahrenheit and then the temperature 1 at our as you can see, 2 p.m. will be our time zero. So the reading is, at time zero, the reading is 80 degree Fahrenheit. And then, at 2, 3 p.m., the temperature re reading is 42. So T1 at 3 minutes after the thermometer reading is 42 degree Fahrenheit. And then later, the thermometer was brought inside where the air temperature is 80. So, later the thermometer was brought inside, so we can write T1 at time T. T of 1 is equals to time 1, or the temperature 1. And then in our second environment, Ts2 is equals to 80 degree Fahrenheit. And our time zero in second environment is equals to T1. And after at 2 p.m., so this will be 10 minutes after. So 10, 10 minutes after. And remember that in this was this was brought inside. So our time zero. So since we have not yet found the the time where the temperature broke indoors, so this will be our time at temperature two is ten minus time one is equals to the reading seventy one degree Fahrenheit. Next is we are going to solve for our T1 so first solution for for our temp, for our environment outdoors T we have a formula T1 minus our TS1 is equal to C E raised to KT so our T1 T1 minus our temperature outside is 20 is equal to C E raised to K T. So when T1 is equal to 0 and temperature 1 is equal to 80 degree Fahrenheit, so this will be 80 minus 20 is equal to C E raised to K times 0. And this will be 1. So our C is equal to 60. So substitute in our formula T1 minus 20 is equal to our C 60 A raised to 80. Next is 
when E1 is equal to 3 and our temperature 1 is equal to 42. So again, substitute 42 minus 20 is equal to 60 E raised to K3. So this will be 42 minus 20 is 22 equals 60 times E raised to 3K and divide both sides by 60. So this will be 22 over 60 is equals to E raised to 3K or 22 over 60 is equal to 11 over 30. 11 over 30 equals to e raised to 3k and get the logarithm of both sides so 3k is equals to the logarithm of 11 over 30 and to get the value of our k divide again both sides by 3 so our k is ln of 11 over 30 over 3 and the next, next is we are going to substitute our k in our formula. We have t1 minus 20 is equals to 60 e raised to our k or our time 1 times our k which is ln of 11 over 30 over 3. So we have to get our t1 we will we will transfer the 20 here so t1 is equals to 60 e raised to t1 times ln of 11 over 30 over 3 plus 20 so this will be our working equation for indoors so next is for out for indoors The formula temperature 2 minus our TS2 is equals to C E raised to KT. T2 or C2. Then our T2 minus our temperature of temperature indoors, which is 80, is equals to C2 E raised to k times t sub 2 so when the temperature or when time 2 is equals to 0 the temperature 2 is equals to t1 so the t1 minus 80 is equals to c2 e raised to k times 0 so this will become 1, so 60 e raised to t1 times our k which is ln of 11 over 30 over 3 plus 20 is equals to c2. Remember that our T1 was get from here. Oh, sorry. So substitute the T1 from our value here, which is 60 e raised to T1 times ln of 11 over 30 over 3 plus 20 minus 80 is equals to our C2 and then our C2 the value of our C2 is equals to 60 e raised to T1 times ln of 11 over 30 over 3 minus 60 So this will be our T2, so going back to our formula, T2 minus our temperature 
eighty is equals to our C two sixty e raised to T one times ln of eleven over thirty over three times e times our e raised to T two ln of eleven over thirty over three. So T two minus eighty is equals to sixty e raised to T one. So since our e has the same exponent, so we will add this T one plus T two times the ln of eleven over thirty divided by three minus sixty e raised to t two ln of eleven over thirty divided by three and when t two is equals to ten times two is equals to ten and ten minus then minus T1. Our temperature 2 is equals to 71 degree Fahrenheit. So, substitute our T2, substitute in the formula, or our, in the equation, our T2 is 71 minus 80 is equals to 60 raised to T1 plus our T2 10 minus T ln of 11 over 30 divided by 3 minus 60 e raised to T2 which is 10 minus T1 ln of 11 over 30 divided by 3. So, 60 60 e raised to e raised to 10 minus T1 ln of 11 over 30 is equal to 71 minus 80 is 9, so transfer to make it positive. 9 plus 60 raised to cancel this 40. So raised to 10 ln of 11 over 30 divided by 3. This will be 10 minus T1 T1 times ln of 11 over 30 divided by 3 equals to ln of 9 plus 60 raised to 10 times ln of 11 over 30 divided by 3 over 60. And then our T1 is equals to 10 minus 3 times ln of 9 plus 60. 60 e, I'm sorry, 60 e raised to 10 ln of 11 over 30 divided by 3 over 60 divided by our ln of 11 over 30. So our T1 is equals to input all of the values in the calculator to get our value 4.96 minutes or approximately 5 minutes so since in our problem it is asked when was the temperature brought indoors so the temperature was brought in indoors 5 minutes after so our time zero is 2 p.m so after 5 minutes so this will be 
5.05 p.m. The, uh, the thermometer was brought indoors.